Hey y'all, it's Trevor, your Pride Fairy, and this is Discovering Gay History. Today we're talking about same-sex marriage activist Edith Windsor. She was born in 1929 and died in 2017. Edith was born in Philadelphia in 1929, and she attended Temple University. It was at university that she became engaged to her brother's friend. She later broke off the engagement after falling in love with a woman. But after receiving her bachelor's degree in 1950, she decided that she did not want to live the lesbian life and decided to move forward with the marriage. But less than a year later, they filed for divorce. She moved to New York, got a secretarial job, and by 1957, she had her master's degree. And in 1958, she was hired as a programmer by IBM. Edith kept her sexuality very private, and she was she often expressed fear of being recognized or called out for frequenting lesbian hangouts in the city. But in 1963, Edith met her future partner, Dr. Spire, in the Greenwich Village. And in 1967, Dr. Spire proposed marriage to Edith, where they ran a 40-year engagement. They did not wear rings as to hide their sexuality, but were devoted to each other. They moved in together, they traveled the world together, and in 1969, after returning from a trip from Italy, they heard about the Stonewall Uprising. Edith said this about it. Until then, I'd always had the feeling, and I know it's ignorant and unfair, I don't want to be identified with those queens. But from that day on, I had this incredible gratitude. They changed my life. They changed my life forever. And in 1977, their lives changed when Dr. Spire was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. In 1993, Edith and Dr. Spire were one of the first to sign up for New York's new law that included domestic partnership. In 2002, Dr. Spire suffered a heart attack. And in 2007, Dr. Spire got news that she only had one year to live. So making the most of it, the couple traveled to Canada, to Toronto with six friends and got married. This marriage was later recognized by the New York State. This is where she begins to make history. After 40 years together and being married in 2007 in Canada, Dr. Spire died in 2009. Edith inherited Dr. Spire's estate, but the IRS taxed Edith, considering her not to be a legal spouse. She was ordered to pay $363,053 in taxes. This was a result of the Clinton-signed 1996 Defense of Marriage Act. This barred same-sex couples from federal recognition of many tax benefits, and, and that's where Edith was caught in this giant bill from the IRS. The Defense of Marriage Act limited same-sex couples from 1,138 benefits that heterosexual couples were able to enjoy by being married. So the case went to the Supreme Court, and in 2015, the ruling only applied to 13 states including the District of Columbia. And it wasn't until 2015 that the Supreme Court ruled that same-sex couples have the right to marry anywhere in the United States and enjoy the same benefits that heterosexual couples have. What Edith's case and ruling did was set the stage for a national fight for marriage equality. The court cited the Fifth Amendment that no person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. She has been granted many awards, Out 100 Lifetime Achievement Award, the Trailblazer Award from the New York City LGBTQ Center, and the Lifetime Leadership Award from the Gay and Lesbian Task Force. All right, I think that does it. As always, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and if you can, donate to this week's fundraiser. We'll see you tomorrow.